Introduction to Manufacturing Excellence What is the purpose of your business? Is it to make money? How do you make money? You can only make money when your customers are satisfied with your products and services, pay you and want to continue doing business with you. Without your customers, you will not have business. You want to become the customer's choice among millions of factories around the world. How do you make products to satisfy your customers? Your employees make your products, so you have to help your employees to make good products to satisfy your customers. In manufacturing, without good employees, you cannot sustain your business. There are four very important principles in manufacturing to satisfy your customers and help your employees. A. Safe working environment for all employees, including management and visitors. Safety includes physical and emotional safety. No one can focus on good work if the working environment is unsafe. B. First quality. Your factory must consistently produce first quality products and services. Without first quality products, your customers will not be satisfied. C. On-time delivery. Your factory must consistently achieve on-time delivery of your first quality products to your customers. Early or late deliveries will cause customer dissatisfaction. D. Lower costs. All costs associated with manufacturing, the cost of materials, labour, utilities and transportation are all on the rise. On the other hand, pressure on price from your customers continues to be challenging. In order to survive and thrive in today's globalised market, every manufacturer must identify, reduce and eliminate non-value-added processes and conserve materials and energy as much as possible. Now these four principles sound good in theory, but you might say they are very difficult to achieve. You might say, if you want a safe working environment, it will cost money. Therefore, the cost will go up. If you want the highest quality, the cost will go up because it takes more time to produce quality products and they will be delivered late. When you lower costs, quality and a safe work environment go out the window. You cannot have all four. But many excellent manufacturing companies do all of these well and thrive in today's highly competitive global market. How do they do it? Let's learn from those who are successful. The most important success factor of such excellent factories is excellent leadership. Quality of leadership equals quality processes, products and employees. Full stop. So, what does excellent leadership look like? Excellent leaders are strategic in their mindset and it is consistently reflected in their behaviours every day. OK, what does it mean? 1. They create a vision and shared values with their important stakeholders – customers, suppliers, employees and communities. 2. They have a long-term outlook in decision-making on matters related to business development, investments and relationships with stakeholders. 3. They develop and deploy key performance indicators to evaluate factory performance regularly. 4. They are open-minded in solving problems to achieve continual improvement in factory performance. 5. They develop, engage and value employees. Hmm. Let's dig a bit deeper to see what these mean. 1. Vision and shared values with your stakeholders. Customers, suppliers, employees and the communities where your business operates are your stakeholders because they gain something important from your success. Why? What is in it for them? Your customers want innovative quality products delivered on time at lowest cost and manufactured in a workplace that respects humans and the environment. They want to be able to rely on your good performance, free from worry. Your suppliers want you to provide them on-time information for parts and materials, a long-term relationship and to be paid on time. Your employees want good employment conditions, a safe working environment, fair wages and to work with people who develop and value them. 
The communities in which you operate want you to continue providing good employment for their families, to develop their residents and perform civic duties by upholding laws and regulations. Excellent leaders do not just think these, they articulate them in the vision and shared values of the company. They discuss them with their stakeholders, deploy them in their daily work and make progress towards achieving them. What do you get in return? You will gain loyal customers, suppliers, employees and communities who want you to succeed and support you because your success means their success. You're creating a win-win situation. 2. Long-term outlook. Leaders must make decisions based on a long-term outlook. If you can't see beyond your nose and make your decisions solely based on your short-term interests, then your factory may do well in the short term, but will not survive in the long run. You want your factory to do well for many, many years for you and your stakeholders. What kind of behaviours do leaders demonstrate if they have a long-term outlook? First, every decision they make each day must be guided by the vision and shared values. For example, 1. Business development. If your shared value with your customer is innovative products, then you must cultivate innovative thinking within your factory and seek new ideas internally and externally. Experiment with new products and invest in your business development. If your customers need flexibility and high quality, then you must review your total processes and improve them to be able to quickly adjust to changes and ensure quality. 2. Investments In making decisions to acquire new technology, equipment and infrastructure upgrades, you must not make decisions simply based on incremental costs. You must see the big picture and evaluate overall costs, including what is being lost today without the investment and what could be gained additionally with the investment. 3. Relationships with your stakeholders. Be transparent and open with your important stakeholders. Talk with and listen to your customers and employees. They know you are not perfect. All they expect is for you to try to do better and become better. If your relationship with your stakeholders is based on dishonesty and lies, then you neither have trust nor respect. Trust and respect are the foundation of building solid and long-term relationships with your stakeholders. 3. Key performance indicators Key performance indicators are often referred to simply as KPI. Key means very important to measure for your business. Performance indicator means the data or information that indicates whether it is doing well or not. So you have to measure the right things in the right way. The right thing measured in the wrong way will give you false information for making your decisions and measuring the wrong thing is a waste of time and resources. Decide on key performance factors for financial, quality, lead time, cycle time, delivery, productivity, energy use, costs, safety, employee development, employee and customer satisfaction levels and so forth. These are what you are going to capture and measure on an ongoing basis. Once you decide on what and how to measure your KPIs, then you must know what is good or bad. How do you know if the indicators are showing good or bad performance? You must decide on what is your standard performance. It might be a specific number or within a range of numbers. Your standards must not be the lowest common denominators. These standards must be the highest achievable in your factory today. If your standard is unrealistically high, then you're not being honest. You can develop a plan to upgrade the standards over a period of time, but you should upgrade your standards only when the established ones are consistently achieved. You must not only develop your standards, you must educate your employees about the standards. Develop and support them so that they can consistently achieve the standards. If a KPI is outside of the standard, then you have a problem to solve. 4. Problem solving Good leaders are happy when problems are found. Problems are good because they help you to make the factory better. 1. 
the most significant and expensive problems are reworked and rejected finished products. By the time the products are rejected at the final inspection, it is too late. You have incurred the cost of materials, energy, labour, warehousing and overheads, and you will not recover the costs of rejects from your customer. You have lowered your profitability, and depending upon how bad the KPI is, you'll lose your customers. If you want to improve your profitability, focus on improving first time through quality. If you want to lower costs, focus on improving quality. Full stop. Two. What if you have high worker turnover and you keep having to hire and train new workers? This certainly impacts negatively on your factory's productivity and profitability. To sustain excellence in your manufacturing acumen, you need quality processes and people. If your factory cannot attract and retain good employees, your business will not have highly productive outcomes. 3. What if you find delivery problems? What if you have long lead times, poorly maintained equipment, poor quality materials, safety issues, excessive inventory, missing materials? All problems are deviations from the standards, and problems are good if you can find them. In all problem-solving processes, good leaders pay attention to the following. Good leaders ask employees who are carrying out the work why the problem is occurring, and not who is causing the problem. This is a very important difference. If employees fear the blame game, they will not be honest with you. They know what the causes of the problems are, and if the discussion is facilitated well, they will suggest workable solutions. Be curious about what you hear and ask follow-up questions. Good leaders understand all the processes in the factory and are keen to find the right solutions so that the problems do not happen again in the future. A quick band-aid approach to problem solving will not be long-lasting and may end up creating more problems. It is important to find out if the problem is caused by process or methods, skills, materials, equipment or the work environment. If you dig down deep enough, you will find a few root causes of the problem that must be fixed to achieve longer-term solutions. 5. They develop, engage and value employees. Please ask yourself, how many products do you manufacture each day, each week, each month? Now that you have that picture in your mind, ask yourself, can all of those products be made by just the managers alone? The answer is no, it is not possible. You need your non-management employees to make all of those products. For most of your manufacturing processes, you are dependent upon the line employees to carry them out. Therefore, leaders must learn to develop and engage them. A wonderful thing about us humans is the fact that each person is endowed with a highly developed brain. However, researchers tell us that each of us only use a fraction of our brain power each day. Think about all the great people in the world who, with or without education, accomplish so much. We're born with the same brain capacity. It is up to us to learn how to make better use of it. There is huge brain power that is untapped in your factory. Develop your line employees to use their brain power to think and contribute, not just use their hands and feet. It is also reported that the more brain power we use, the more brain cells our brain creates. According to Abraham Maslow, humans require basic needs to be satisfied first before they can begin to focus on higher achievement possibilities. The bare basic needs are physiological needs, for example food and sleep. Next are safety needs. Once these are satisfied on a regular basis, humans will then seek friendship and acceptance. If your factory is providing good wages and a good working environment, then your employees are ready for the next level, that of self-esteem and achievement. The more they feel good about their capabilities, the more they will seek to do better. No one gets up in the morning thinking, I want to fail today. No, we all want to succeed. So leaders must think of ways to develop their employees to deploy their brains and ways to contribute to the mutual goal of sustaining the business and good employment. This is vital to make your business succeed. 
employees will become motivated to perform, and high-performing employees become valuable capital of the enterprise. It is truly win-win. Create the work environment and company systems or processes in which all employees acquire new skills and work collaboratively with each other, not competitively against each other. What does such internal conflict produce? Does it contribute to manufacturing quality products on time and lowering cost? Does it contribute to satisfying your customers? It is most unlikely. Leaders must learn ways to harness their employees' brain power in finding and solving problems systematically to achieve the mutual goal of satisfying your customers and providing a good and safe working environment. If you do, you are on your way to sustained success.